Arabic history cannot be um, just in advance. Uh, we confirm or disconfirm things only when they have happened. And um, But what we can do is to be taught from history and see how the past has affected the developments of the future. Uh, in this regard, I would answer to Mrs. Bakoyani and to anyone who holds the same view with her that by saying that uh, even in Cyprus, before the uh, invasion, the Turkish invasion, the occupation and the, um, so to say the um, illegal occupation of the almost 40% of the island, we had a kind of small strategic Muslim minority of Turkish origin. And the case is pretty much similar as to how the Kosovo story began uh, with a unilateral uh, de facto uh, recognition. So what Mrs. Bakoyani says is actually uh, following the letter of the international law in order to show and to argue that there is no similarity in terms of international law as describing the uh, case of Kosovo with other cases in Greece and potential threats such as um, the case of Thrace in northeastern Greece where we have a Muslim minority reaching almost over 50% of the population. And then I would ask Mr. Bagoyani why not this population to come up and say, look, we are 50% of the people here. We don't want to be under the Greek state. We want to be um, separated. Um, then that makes plain sense for using a notion of Kosovo, uh, Kosovoization, so to say, uh, of other places in Greece. So I, of course, disagree with the, what she says. Um, I consider what she says as a way to escape for a very harsh criticism, um, unless, of course, she has some other promises, for instance, from Germany or from the US, that anything like that is not going to happen to Greece then uh, we are uh, responsibly concerned about the possibility of having similarities. Because you know what? Another thing is also related to Mrs. Bakoyani's response that we are accused for having suggested the accession of Kosovo to the EU. No, that's not true. Uh, we have not suggested the accession of Kosovo. But what she did actually is that she paved the way for a, at the second stage, um, recognition of Kosovo, because you can't have this exclusive, unique case globally of a non-state, as Kosovo is, participating in international institutions without, at the end, being recognized. And that's why this decision of Mrs. Bakoyan and this suggestion opens the way to Kosovo, both for entering the European Union and being soon recognized as an independent state. And, and as my sources say, also there are um, efforts for Kosovo to enter NATO before the change of, uh, or the elections in the US and the possible change of the, um, uh, the president there. So um, it's very naive for one to believe that Mrs. Bakoyani tells the truth and acts for the sake of the truth and all the more that she acts for the good of the Serbian people of Kosovo.